Now I'll recognize the gentleman from California for five minutes. Ms. Burdett, you are an expert on anti-Semitism, and I want to read a few uh, different statements to you, and if you can just give me a yes or no as to whether you would consider them anti-Semitic. I prefer my kids' new Hanukkah from Kwanzaa. At least it will come with some financial engineering. Anti-Semitic or not? Very potentially. I just think that's what they're about, is making money, in a reference to Jared Kushner and his Jewish family. You think that's anti-Semitic? Anti-Jewish stereotype. Planned Parenthood was made by Margaret Sanger, a known eugenics with the KKK to control the Jew population. When I say Jew, I mean the 12 lost tribes of Judah, the blood of Christ, who the people known as the race black really are. This is who our people are. Anti-Semitic or not? A little too confusing for me to decipher. We'll get to that. <laughs> this ain't a game. I'm going to use you as an example to show you the Jewish people that told you to call me that no one can threaten or influence me. I told you this is war. Now going to get you some business. Still confusing? Uh, uses two stereotypes um, about Jews as being motivated only by business and having nefarious <coughs> control uh, that isn't real. Last one. I'm a bit sleepy tonight, but when I wake up, I'm going death con three on Jewish people. The funny thing is, I actually can't be anti-Semitic because black people are actually Jew. Also, you guys have toyed with me and tried to blackball anyone who opposes your agenda. What do you think about that one? Anti-Semitic. Yeah. So what I'm concerned about is that we have anti-Semitic posts coming from this committee. And last October, the chairman tweeted out on October 6, Kanye, Elon, Trump. Those five statements that I just read to you were from Kanye West, who had made a number of anti-Semitic statements before this tweet was put up, and then made the DEF CON statement about a day after the tweet was put up. I, the chairman at the time, Chairman Nadler, many people in the Jewish community asked the chairman, Chairman Jordan, to take this down. And it wasn't just members of Congress. It was nonpartisan Jewish organizations who said, Kanye West is anti-Semitic. I don't know what you're doing, but please do not give him a platform by leaving this tweet up. It stayed up for months. Defiantly, the chairman kept this tweet up. So, Mr. Chairman, I want to be just today your accountability partner, your online accountability partner, and just go through your social media. Because if we're going to have a hearing about anti-Semitism, we can't allow a tweet like this to be posted on our side or your side. In 2019, Chairman Jordan also tweeted at Tom Steyer and used the dollar sign for Steyer to spell his name. Again, known Jewish philanthropist playing into what Ms. Burdett mentioned earlier, tropes about Jewish people and money. So this committee should have a conversation and a hearing about anti-Semitism. But I would first insist that the chairman, I don't know why he put this tweet up, either he believes it, which I hope is not the case, or he just wanted to own the libs. And if that's what you're doing, you're hurting a lot of people by keeping that tweet up for so long, especially knowing what it represents. And if we're talking about being your online accountability partner, chairman, you still have a subpoena in your inbox that's about 500 days old. And uh, with that, I'll yield back. Gentleman yields back. The chair now recognizes the gentleman from California.